Hey, Thomas Bartke here and welcome again to Trackify. In this video, I will show you the easy steps to get your Facebook pixel into Shopify. This will also get your product catalog into Facebook and enable the famous Trackify Ninja mode for you. I hope you already have a Facebook ad account, a business manager account and a Facebook pixel. If not, you need to go back up and do that first. So let's go, it'll take less than three minutes from here. On the main tab, click to open the first drop-down selection. It will show you a list of all Facebook account pixels that you can access through the profile you've used to log in. Pick the one you want to use as your main pixel. It's also possible to just copy and paste the pixel code into these drop-down fields, but you should see all accounts and pixels that you have access to in Facebook in these drop-downs. Great. If you want to use a second pixel for backup, do the same thing again in the second dropdown. Otherwise, just leave that blank and then click Save. Now this is important. Trackify will now fire your Facebook pixels and you need to make sure that no other pixel code is still firing from anywhere else. Remove the pixel ID from the Shopify settings and anywhere else you may have put it before. Click on the question mark next to Trackify main switch if you need help. Awesome, that was easy. Now let's move on to the next tab. Click on the tab named Catalog and Feed. In the first field, you'll select the product category that best fits most of your products. This will be the default product category for your Facebook catalog. It's not that important that this fits each of your products perfectly, so just select the general category. You can simply type a product term into the box and then choose from the available options. Just try a little bit until you find a category that really fits best just for most of your products. Now, in the second field, drop down and select a business manager that you want to use for your Facebook account. Then click Save and Build Catalog. You will see a process indicator that informs you about what's happening. You can pause the video now if you need more time to complete this step. Awesome! Now let's move on to the Ninja Mode tab. The Trackify Ninja Mode is making sure your pixel events are fired as early as possible so that you get the best possible tracking and optimization results in your Facebook ads. Ninja Mode has already been enabled in your store when you first save the settings. However, the purchase event requires a simple manual step that we will help you complete right now. Click onto the gray text area here. The entire text inside that area will automatically be selected. Now copy the text by clicking Ctrl C on your keyboard or right click your mouse and select copy. Now click on the blue hyperlink checkout settings over here and then your Shopify admin will open in a new tab. The cursor will be placed exactly in the right spot automatically. All you need to do is paste the code. Simply press Ctrl-V on your keyboard or right-click and select Paste. Then scroll to the bottom and click Save in Shopify. Pause the video now and complete the step, then return here to the rest of the video. Congratulations! This is it. Your Facebook pixels are now going to fire from Trackify. Next, I will show you how to create niche tracking tags so you can track and optimize your results by grouping your store products in niches or any other groups that match the interests of different segments of your store visitors. Go to the Trackify menu and click on Tracking Tags, and I will see you there in the short video on that page.